Thank you. My name is John Ken Edwards, Jr. I am a candidate for re-election as your state court judge. I've served in that capacity for the past six years. Prior to that, I served as municipal court judge for the city of Alvasta for nine years, and I served as a prosecutor in that court. Councilman Sharp was there during some of that time period. And uh, ask first and foremost for your continued support as your state court judge. I'll tell you quickly just a couple of things. I know uh, when I've been out talking with people, a lot of people wonder what state court is. Some people are unfamiliar with state court. It is a court which handles both civil and criminal cases. We handle cases which um, are not uh, u utilized and determined in the superior court. That means on the criminal side of things, we generally handle almost all the misdemeanors in Lowndes County. And we handle, of course, a very large number of civil cases, well over 1,000, sometimes around 1,300 a year in uh, cases involving anything from <coughs> medical malpractice, personal injury, wrongful death. Uh, it could be any, any type of civil dispute, in including contractual disputes between individuals. It is a very busy court. Uh, last year, our caseload on the criminal side of things increased from 17,000 to 21,000 cases, a very large increase for one county. We have probably the eighth largest state court in the state of Georgia. Again, I say it is a very busy court. There are some things that I say to you as your state court judge that I am I'm proud of in terms of the, the people who work within the state court. We have no backlog, no criminal backlog cases, no civil backlog of cases. That's something I'm very proud of. In addition to that, I like to uh, make sure that first and foremost we provide what our citizens, I think, expect the most, which is a court that they can come in into, have an opportunity to be heard, and have a fair hearing on the issue and the merits of their case. That's what courts were established to strive for. I think about our, the preamble to our Constitution that says, we the people, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice. We thought about it so much that we put it first in the preamble of our Constitution, and that's what we are there to help do, is to establish justice for all people and to treat all people who come into the courtroom, regardless of background, race, color, religion, sex, whomever they may be, as an equal party before the court. That's what we're there to do. More specifically, I'm very proud of the fact that criminal justice reform is something that will be fully implemented in our court. Many of you have read about that in the newspaper and it will seek to lessen Georgia's overcrowded prison population. If there's anything I can tell you after 15 years on the bench as a judge is that incarceration cures nothing. Not I cannot stand here and say to you as a judge that I've not had to put someone in jail. When I put someone in jail, I hope that it is for a very good reason and for the more specific reason that it is to safeguard the community and not simply to punish someone or to cause them to lose their job or to fall further behind in society. With a large prison population like Georgia has, we've got to do something. I think finally every politician of every persuasion understands that something must be done. I'm proud, along with Commissioner Evans, who has started the ankle monitor program to get those individuals who have no purpose being in jail other than simply to sit there, do not pose an immediate or imminent threat to the community, who can be released on an ankle monitor, which not only puts them out of a jail where they don't need to be, but also decreases the cost to taxpayers and, and a cost that this community must ultimately bear to incarcerate someone. That's something we can be proud of, I think, as a community regardless of political persuasion. I say to you that I'm proud of the fact that we work hard in the state court for you, that although my office is made up of staff of only two people and I am the only state court judge, that we work hard every day for you, that we are good stewards of your taxpayer dollars, and that, as I said first and foremost, we provide a fair, equitable place for folks to come to have their issues heard and addressed, be it an issue of a criminal case, be it an issue of a civil case. I ask, therefore, for your continued support as your state court judge, and thank you for having me here tonight.